September is right around the corner. And to pop things off for the first weekend of September, Jordan Brand is releasing the Jordan 1 Palomino. Ladies, gentlemen, if you guys don't know, your boy is expecting a baby boy on his way on October 24th of this year. So one more month to go. And if you guys and girls would love to send something to Baby Too Wild, feel free to check the link down below for the baby registry. Everything you guys will purchase will come straight to us and I will make sure moving forth for the rest of the month and even into October, I'm giving you guys and girls shout outs for every gift that is received. Nothing is mandatory, but at the end of the day, if you love my content and you love what I do and you want to show some appreciation, buy that baby a pamper because he's going to be shitting everywhere. Today, guys, we have the Jordan 1 Palomino set to release on September 2nd for a retail price point of $180. And this is the second Palomino colorway so far that I know of that's released. First being the Jordan 3 and now the Jordan 1. The Palomino though 1 looks entirely different as far as the color patterns and the color, I would say, palette from that Jordan 3. The Jordan 1 Palomino is featuring, of course, a black and gold box. And on the label, it says black slash metallic gold Palomino. Palomino, the name itself is from a type of stallion or a type of horse that is pretty much a light skinned horse, bro. It looks like me. It literally got like, like my skin color and then its hair is like blonde like this. It's like if I was a horse, I'd be a Palomino. That's why this shoe just... It just rocks with me. This shoe is definitely going to be a hyped up shoe. It's definitely going to be a shoe that's going to go for, you know, 200 plus, 230, 250 in that market, in my opinion. So if you're something that you're trying to go after, definitely keep your eyes peeled and be on your P's and Q's. If you're someone out there that's trying to make some extra money, which I know a lot of y'all are nowadays, you know, it's definitely going to be a shoe that you can make some money. But even me personally, 180 plus tax, almost 190, 200, you selling it for 250. 50 bucks for one shoe. I mean, I guess that's a good dinner for you and the wife, you know, or you and your girl, or whatever, or your man, whatever you're doing. I mean, I guess, but that's a lot. But then again, it's free money. But the Jordan 1 Palomino definitely is getting its, I guess, hype because of how close it looks like the Mocha. And the Mocha got its hype from how close it looked like the Travis Scott. So this is like a grandchild of a Travis Scott in a way, because the Mocha, which released a couple years back, in my opinion, there's nothing spectacular about it. It's pretty much the black toe swapped out in the back. You know, we've had various different Jordan ones drop that had this same type of pattern right here, like that, but then the back switched out for a navy or green or yellow, various different ones, and they did okay here and there. But the Mocha, it did numbers. I mean, these are currently going right now in the market for $400. That's how much they're going for. I actually am trying to get rid of this pair. And uh, if you are, you know, interested in uh, uh, throwing me an offer, size eight and a half, feel free to, you know, email your boy because I'm keeping these. And as you guys and girls can see from the B-roll, there is some slight differences in the colors of the two. The Mocha is slightly lighter than the Palomino. Now, as far as the texture goes, for the most part, just filling them side by side, they're pretty much the same, which is a brown suede, a very, very nice, smooth brown suede, that is. I'm not gonna lie to you though, I'm gonna be 100. I wanna say this is a new book. I wanna say this is a new book. I'm gonna take a risk and say that this is a new book. The reason it being is that when you really feel the texture, you can actually feel the leather, but it feels like it was grinded slightly. And new book is the actual leather side, just buff down to a certain soft type of feel where his suede is the other side so i could be right i could be wrong let's just see what nike says so on sneakers it says premium leather so i would say it's a premium leather to me it almost feels like a new buck type of material that's what i'll go with but some real nice leather as well on the blacks real nice new buck on the brown and then you also got it featuring that embossed air flight which they've been doing a little bit more and more on the pairs compared to the previous one which was deboss check that out you see the deboss there you can see that it's printed in right and the blacks are the blacks are pushed in the blacks are debossed pushed in and what's popping out is pretty much the material the outlining is what's pushed out where it is on this one it is the black print that is embossed and popped out so some slight differences in there. And I, I think I prefer the feeling a little bit more, the texture of the Air Flight compared to previous other models. You also got that Palomino on the Nike Air right there, that little gold Nike Air. And bottom is browned out, white midsole. I, I like them, I like them. I'm digging them. I'm definitely gonna be rocking these and keeping these in the collection. I love brown. I don't really have any brown besides this Mocha 
and I got some reverse Mocha Travis Scotts. So this is definitely something I want to add in. I like the mochas, don't get me wrong. Like I don't have no issue with these, but you know, I'm at a point now where I'm starting to feel even more and more like okay with what off in certain shoes. Like shoes I thought I would never want to off. I'm I'm getting better and better at it day by day as I see less and less space and more and more shoes coming in and piling up. Right? Like it's crazy. And if you guys are interested right now in Two Wilds Closet, I have a huge list of like 20 sneakers on there right now you guys and girls can check out. As far as sizing goes, fits like any other eight and a half out there. The box, you guys can see once again, metallic, nothing different, nothing extraordinary, you know. These will be also first come first serve over on Soul Play ATA com so if you want to check out soul play atl that's where you know i get a lot of my shoes at. i've been rocking with them for five years official jordan adidas nike reebok all the above soul play atl you can follow them over on instagram at soul play atl and on twitter at soul play atlanta check them out and uh hop on it asap rocky on this upcoming saturday first come first serve and available at the decatur and lawrenceville locations so if you're in atlanta in the metro area or in Gwinnett, go pull up on them or hop online. It's another place to, you know, shop to your drop. But I don't know what can be said about these that hasn't already. These are amazing. Um, I'm gonna, you could say I'm hyping it up. I don't give a damn at the end of the day. I like these. I like these more than the Red Cements. I like this release more than the Red Cements. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is the sneaker for me for the month of September. This is my favorite shoe dropping for this month of September. So keep your eyes peeled and let me know down below in the comment section do you like these do you don't because there's always gonna be someone that don't like it so i'm kind of curious you got the so that on the toe box magnificent it's a great pattern it's very simple real subtle but sexy sexy i'm gonna end you guys off with the on foot i love y'all i appreciate y'all i'm out peace